Hi guys, it's Mossy Villain, and welcome to the weekend preview. A little bit later than normal, and that's got nothing to do with the fact that I completely forgot to do this. Uh, but let's rattle into it and see how we go for, of course, the Predictor League and the Patreon Fantasy Football. Now, a big congratulations. First up, uh, last week goes to Rujistan. Back to back Golden Caps. I don't know why I've been given the credit on there, but anyway, uh, Rujistan did get it uh, done. 16.5 points, which is ridiculous. Um, I had a good week myself with 14, Gaz Monster there with 11, Parramatta Power, the real villain down there uh, with 9, and just scroll down to everybody else who did their picks. And if we go and have a quick look at the leaderboard, what that has done for Rujasan is absolutely rocket him back up into contention, only 5 points back now of the top, uh, the real villain. And it's shaking up to be a, a nice little uh, a nice little final run into the season here. It's looking as though it's a two-horse race, uh, though this league has changed so often this season, hasn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, myself and Parramatta Power probably has an outside chance. Adam Riley down. It's maybe looking forward to next season now. Um, but there's the, the league table as we scroll down so everyone can see where it is that they're at. Um, and yeah, that is it. So Real Villain versus Rujasen, it looks like. Let's have a look at the games for this week and see, uh, see what we've got. Um, we start with, of course, we start with Villa. Look at that form. Jesus. Um, I mean, as much as I would love to see Villa win, uh, yeah, just, you can't, you can't, you can't pick them, and certainly you can't pick against Wolves, so that doesn't look as though that's going to go well for us. Um, Watford versus Southampton. Um... This is where my bias starts to come in that I really want Southampton to win that. Let's say a draw. Let's say 1-1. One, one. Um, yeah, let's say that. Uh, Crystal Palace versus Burnley. If there was ever a game that had 0-0 written all over it, I feel like that's probably it. Uh, Brighton versus Manchester United. Interesting. Um, Brighton have looked pretty good, haven't they, since coming back. Uh, Manchester United, I mean, you couldn't say that they're struggling either. Um... Yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, probably Man United, probably just, probably just, uh, Bournemouth versus Newcastle, well, I really, I really need Newcastle to win this for me, go on, Brucey boy, uh, let's say 1-0 to Newcastle, uh, that's tipping with my heart there, not my head, isn't it, New, uh, Arsenal versus Norwich, um, if there's a game that Norwich, Norwich tend to, yeah. I mean, there's no fans at the Emirates to boo them. If You know what? If there was fans in this one, I think I'd, uh, I think I'd tip Norwich to win. But with no fans, I just... Arsenal do have the better player. I wouldn't be at all surprised if Norwich win that, though. Everton versus Leicester City. Leicester don't look the same team, do they? Everton, to me, have looked a decent team. So let's say maybe 2-1 Everton beat Leicester. Um, West Ham versus Chelsea. Well, we need West Ham to lose. The we is in Villa. <laughs> if I'm referring to we, uh, that's 100% who I'm talking about. Um, so let's say, let's say Chelsea get the, get the dollars there. Sheffield United versus Spurs. Sheffield United, unfortunately for them, don't look as though they've come back from this break with anything to play for, do they? Um, so I'm going to say probably 2-0 to Tottenham. Uh, which is a shame. I would really, really have liked to have seen Sheffield United, well, Europe, uh, Champions League, uh, you know, if, if that was at all uh, possible. But it doesn't look like it is now, does it? Um, lots of you guys have done your tips, which is excellent to see. Uh, City versus Liverpool. Uh, it's going to be just a general everybody congratulations all round, isn't it? I reckon that'll be a draw. Um, so there we go. If you haven't done your tips yet, uh, make sure you go and do them. Um, but that is uh, that's my tips. As I said, make sure you do yours. A quick update of the fantasy football. Um, I just want to say how happy I was with my decision to take Martial out of my team last week on a sort of a one week uh, wild card play. That really went well for me, didn't it? Um, but look at that, Vault GFC, almost a 100-point game week. It's looking as though well, the 71 wasn't bad from the Cobra Chickens. Uh, it's a two-horse race now. I'll hold my hands up and say I cannot win this. Um, but I'll keep trying, and this is my team for the week. Uh, I've made a couple of changes. The subs that I've made, because I've gone back to the team as it was before. So I've taken out Aguero, who's injured, and brought in Jimenez. And Villian has come in, or Willian has come in, uh, for the injured Snodgrass. So that's my team. I'm going with Pope in goal over Schmeichel. Uh, I think Burnley away from home are more likely to keep a clean sheet than Everton, uh, Leicester are at Everton. Alexander-Arnold, Connor Cody, and our Turkish friend in the Leicester defence. Um are my defenders. Fernandez, William, 
Salah and Martial. Watch him get sent off or score an own goal and get sent off this week. That's what will happen, isn't it? Come on, Martial. Get another hat-trick for me, mate. And then Calvert-Lewin. Jimenez as captain because he's playing Villa and why wouldn't he score? Uh, and uh, Jordan Ayew, uh, uh my three up front, uh, which leaves, of course, Cantwell, Tarkovsky and Baldock are just... Sheffield United is just not doing anything, are they? Um, as the rest of the team. So that is my team for this uh, this week's fantasy football. Um, and there we go. Don't forget to put your tips in, as I said. As ever, try to try and keep these short and sweet. Uh, so good luck in your picks this weekend. And I'll see you whenever the next round is. Hopefully, I'll give you a little bit more notice than uh, late on a Friday night. Take care.